stand before you and confess that I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final love word in reality. And this reality has manifested itself in many, but particularly in this one man who will address you today. I am proud to call him a leader, an inspiration, an aspiration, an example to us all. Please help me in welcoming Dr. Bernard Lafayette. Black, and it is crossed to color line. So the color line is easy to cross. There's no barrier there, and especially when you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, okay, so they crossed the color line. And so we had one of them, and then we had all the way to someone who had, you know, really obviously, you know, what we used to call in those days, Negroid features. And, it's, and the waitress was serving people, and, they, and then uh, they, she got to, uh, and looked up, and then she tried to snatch the plates back, because she <laughs> realized it was set up, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it was too late, because they started passing the plates down, all the way to the end. So she was trying to snatch the plates back. Uh, that was just our, you know, what we call a test case. So we were experimenting in order to be able to get research. And uh, then we'd go back to the workshops and uh, we would set people up in the lunch counter style and then we'd yell and scream at them and call them all kind of names, you know, and that kind of stuff and push them around a bit. What we were doing uh, is getting what we call an emotional education. See, your emotions are also immature. They're babies. Some people keep the baby. Even when they get old, they're baby emotions. All right? So the point is we had to educate the emotions so they would be mature and people would not just simply react to situations. You know what I'm talking about? Because you know how folks say, I, I don't know what happened to me. I lost it. I, I wasn't myself. This is true. You can lose it. So. Uh, in a movement, you have to make sure that you have self-control because you are very much dependent on the success and the change. So we did that. So we'd gone downtown already, but we hadn't gotten arrested. So the day we got arrested, okay, they decided, we're going to take this anymore. We're going to put you in jail if you come down here. We're going to beat you up. So we said, okay, we'll be down, okay? What time are you going to get there? <laughs> So we went down, and sure enough, they arrested us and they beat us up and put us in jail. And there were students back in uh, uh, Tennessee State. When they heard about that, they said, we got to go. So they came down, and they locked the door so they couldn't get in. Guess what they did? Why do you think they were going down there anyway to sit in? They were going to jail. So if you can't get to the lunch counters, and you want to go to jail, go to the jail. <laughs> and that's what they did. They went down to the uh, jail, okay? It was in the corner, and they were asking if they could be arrested. <laughs> and the police would apologize to them and said the jails were full, you know what I mean? We, we, we don't have no more room. They said, we're going to have a sit-in. So they had a sit-in in the lobby of the jail demanded to be arrested. <laughs> what? They want to arrest you, you know what I mean? And then we here. <laughs> so what happened was the uh, jailers came out and they used their one who was uh, more diplomatic and uh, apologized that they couldn't arrest him because, you know, they didn't have a way. But if you come back tomorrow, it's like, <laughs> it's like a hotel, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have any vacancy now, but it, you come back tomorrow, we go, they say, you promise? You promise when we come back tomorrow we're going to get arrested? They say, well, no, we can't promise, but you know, if we have room, you know. You know? Now, uh, I'll say this and then we move on. Now, we were very strategic in our cities because we made sure that we sat in and got arrested before uh, lunch. Or either before dinner. Because, you know, you had to get something to eat because when you the lunch counter, you want to get fed. So it was the timing, it was everything. Okay? Uh, so 
so we will let him know. It's time for us to go to jail. And he said, yeah. <laughs> when are you going to arrest us? You know what I mean? You guys will go. Okay. So we'll just go out and line up in the paddy wagon, you know what I mean? Get ready. But we'll talk more about that later. At this point, we just want to share with you uh, some of the uh, footage from the, uh, the Freedom Riders. I was involved in the sit-ins and then the Freedom Riders the next year, and then Selma, Alabama. Things all the way up to the uh, March on Washington. Uh, we got the, uh, the Poor People's Campaign, the Martin Luther King. So I'll be able to discuss any of those areas and we'll have plenty of time for question and answer you know, after the uh, presentation of the film. Uh, this was uh, done by uh, PBS. And, um, you can see the uh, trailer and all the other things that happened. I was on the Freedom Rides there tell you about some details of things that happened.